Hey, I'm John Thielen. Today on Fish Head, we're fishing some walleyes, some saugers. We're fishing in some dirty water, and, and you know, this is this is probably the most popular fishery in the world when it comes to ice fishing, Lake of the Woods. And I'll tell you though, one of the most important things you can do on Lake of the Woods is put sound and vibration down there because a lot of times we're fishing a combination of things. We're fishing a combination of deep water dark water and you get a lot of snow up here in northern Minnesota so there's not a lot of light down there so I'll tell you what sound vibration it can make a huge huge difference so that's what we're going to talk about today stay right where you're at fish heads coming up bottom that fast look at that holy smokes that's the first drop that's that's literally let's just get set up and get going and he saw it coming down now watch that fish he started lifting well i was on my way down i mean holy smokes <laughs> we'll take that start any day of the week look at that great eater size well i just start that guy just come railing off the bottom right from the get-go i mean i dropped this thing down and this 14 incher just comes smoking in there. Holy smokes. Let's hope that's a, a sign of things to come. <laughs> it's a, uh, man, I'll tell you, just goes to show you, sometimes there's just fish hanging around. And that guy, he, he, he was, we're gonna let him go. I mean, obviously it's, it's pretty early in the day. <laughs> we're gonna get plenty of fish the way that, if that, if that's any kind of, indication i hate to jinx myself but wow was that a cool start he saw that thing coming down i wiggled it one time and he snapped it we'll take that any day of the week holy smokes that was cool back at it i think he liked what he saw coming <laughs> that was crazy there he is got him Feels like a decent one. Oh yeah, another good fish, I think. You know, one of the things we're doing here is just making sure that we're grabbing their attention. Oh yeah, good eye. Look at that fish, awesome fish. We're just making sure we're grabbing these fish's attention though. As they're racing around this, this reef, I'm just making sure to grab their attention with noise, vibration. I wanna, I wanna show you what I'm doing here. Let me get this fish unhooked. Look at that great eye. We'll pitch him in the bucket. Perfect eater size fish, probably 16, 16 and a half, 17 inches. Let me show you this bait I'm using. This is the Wally Talker. And man, this, this one I think is one of the most overlooked baits in the Lindy lineup. And, and you know, it, it's a little bit unorthodox. It's, it's not quite the same as some of the different baits out there. But let me tell you, the success of the Perch Talker really led to this bait. And the success of the Perch Talker is based 100% around noise and vibration. Well, it's the same thing with this Wally Talker, but here's the difference. When you look at a perch talker, a perch talker has brass beads and discs. And what that does is it gives a sound that perch just come into. They, they're, a curious, they're a curious fish. They're gonna come in and take a look. Well, when we looked at what do walleyes like, they like a little bit higher pitch sound, okay? So what we did is we used glass beads and discs in the Wally Talker, and then it's got a weight in the middle. So what that does is makes it so it races down fast, but you get this great high pitch noise and it also makes vibration because those discs are moving water. So now as these fish are roaming around this reef and they're just out here eating, I mean, they're just, they're on the move. They're flying all over out here eating. All I'm doing is making noise and vibration down there. I'm just grabbing their attention. And then with the glass beads, the other thing we've been able to do is do some awesome colors. I mean, you get these, these colors that give you a very holographic look because of being glass, you can almost see through them. I like to call it almost a crushed glass. You can actually see right through those things and it gives off those color hues. So really, it's just a, it's just a great setup from beginning to end when you're looking at a, at a different type of bait for your walleye fishing because it looks a little bit different to them and it's all about noise and vibration. 
and a lot of days that's what matters most and especially when you're fishing you know deeper darker water like we are here snow covered ice i mean realistically noise and vibration just becomes so important there he is look at that i don't think he's as big but boy he come in hot <laughs> there's another one down there right now let's see what we got here now nah, he's a He's more on that 12 inch side. We'll get him back in. But boy, there's fish rolling through here right now. Right now you wanna, you wanna fish fast right now because there are fish rolling through here. We'll drop right back in there. Grab another, grab another bit of their attention. Man, this is fun when it rolls like this, this early. I mean, literally we do, we just got going here. Another one down there. It's just gonna be a question of, does he get up here and smack it right away or does he take his time? You can see him down there on the bottom. I think one of the cool things about fishing a bait like this Wally Talker too is a lot of times, and I mean right now, I'm, I'm under the assumption that the bite I'm getting right now is all about their feeding and I'm just grabbing their attention while they're moving. But the thing about a bait like this too is you can actually, you know, activate a bite. You get you get past that prime time bite eventually here. This this bite I'm on this low light early morning bite is going to go away. There's nothing you can do about that. It'll it'll eventually end. But what's going to happen is because I'm using a bait like this Wally Talker that makes noise and vibration, you can turn a bite back on. So if there's a fish meandering around over here or over there, a lot of times you can get their attention and bring them to you. If you were just using a bait that is 100% visual, what you'd find out at that point is it's a little bit harder to get those fish to move. There he is right there. A little bit harder to get those fish to move and get them turned on. This is a good one here. I'll tell you right now, this is a real good fish. But what we're doing here, I mean, this is awesome. I mean, they're, they're just attacking this thing. I mean, it, man, what, what else do you say about it? I mean, they're just, they're just whacking it one after another here. But even if this were later in the day, I'll tell you what, we'd be able to keep this bike going. Look at that one. That's an awesome fish. Look at that, but look at how they're eating that Wally Talker. I mean, it's just, it's just one after another. I mean, they just come up here and smack that thing. That is awesome right there. Look at that. Let's unhook him and get right back in there. What a great fish. We'll pitch him in the pail too, but that's just awesome. But that is, that's what it's all about right here. Noise, vibration, getting their attention, getting these fish activated, grabbing their attention when they're swimming around, but activating them to want to bite. And I mean, these fish aren't just coming up and nipping at this. I mean, they're smacking it. Man, that's fun. <laughs> that's just fun right there. What a great start to a morning. There's more of them down here. This is the other thing that's so cool about this bait is you can get back down so quick. I mean, I'm already in the strike zone. I mean, that fast. Boom, boom, boom. Get them, get them caught, get them unhooked. Get right back down there and you're in the strike zone because you got the weight to get down there super fast. You're right back to making noise and grabbing their attention. One of the things I want you to notice about how I work this Wally Talker is when I don't have fish on my screen, I'm working it pretty aggressively because I want those beads and discs to be moving up and down on that shaft and making a lot of noise. As Soon as the fish comes in, you'll see I'll slow it down a little bit and then I'll barely move that rod tip. So I'll go from a bing, 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 really hitting it hard to when a fish comes in, all of a sudden I'll just go down to that tick, tick, tick. I'll really slow it down. Now, a lot of times you'll get a fish to come in from the side and just wail on it on the aggressive stuff. But once they get there, now they get to rely a little bit on eyesight. Now you can slow down a little bit, let them see that minnow, shake the thing around, make just a little bit less noise. And a lot of times that'll trigger a strike because it gives them that ambush point. But that's a neat thing about this Wally Talker is you can work it in so many different ways. You can, you can use it as a big time vibration noise maker or you can slow it down and get really subtle too. Come on, eat it. Boy, this guy came a long ways up. He's got a buddy with him too. Makes you wonder if, if they're small fish or... Let's see. There he is, there he bit it. I kind of was going back down with it. And he bit it. I don't think he's a small fish. I think he's actually a pretty good one. He kind of fooled me. I was going back down with him. And he grabbed it while it was going back down. That's cool. Oh yeah, another great eye. Look at that. Nothing wrong with that. 
awesome fish. Another one for the pale. Man, I'll tell you what, what a great day this has been. It's just been one after another, and you know what it's all about? It's all about using baits that grab their attention. Walleyes like this, they're cruising out here on this reef. This is a big, expansive reef I'm on, but I'm getting their attention. While they're running around looking for food, fish like that one right there, he's finding what I'm offering. And ultimately, if you can do that, I'll tell you what, we'll catch more fish day in and day out every single day. That's just awesome. What a day.